Hello everyone, today we are solving find the digits problem on Hecuang. First, let's read the problem and we will try to solve it. An integer d is a divisor of an integer and its remainder uh, of n divided by d is equal to 0. Given an integer for each digit that makes up the integer, determine whether it's said divisor. Count the number of divisor occurring within the integer. Okay, in this problem we will have just one input. It's an integer, something like this. And for each digit of it, we will check whether this digit is the divisor of this whole integer. So we should check the reminder. If there is no reminder, for example, our first digit is 1. When we divide this integer by 1, we get reminder 0. So we when we divide it by 2, we get also reminder 0. So 1 and 2 is uh, 1 and 2 are uh, divisors of this integer but when we divide this integer by 5 we get reminder 1 so 5 is not a divisor of this integer for to solve this problem we will iterate each char each element of this uh, integer and we will check whether it's a divisor or not and if it is a divisor we will count them and we will return at the end of the iteration. Uh, if there is 0 also, this is not a reminder in this case. Because we cannot divide this uh, integer by 0. So if we uh, see any 0 inside of this element, we will count it also. So to solve this problem, we should first split this integer, our input. But to split it, first we should convert it to string because we cannot sp uh, split integers. So after converting it to string, we can split our integer. Now we have an uh, array of chars that we converted from integer. Now we can use count iterator uh, in Ruby. This iterator each step gives us a value and if this value is not equal to 0 we convert it to integer because this converting string function returns us char not a digit so to check whether it's equal to 0 we should convert it to integer each step if it is not equal to 0 and if division division of n so we can use modulus operator here by v dot 2i we use again 2i to convert this v to integer when we get the modulus of this v value we should get 0 so this means that if our digit is not equal to 0 and when divide our whole integer by this value if we get 0 as reminder then we can count it so this will return us an integer as the count at the end of the problem we can return our count value let's check our parameters now we can run our code if there is no problem we can submit it okay now we can submit the problem so we passed all test cases there are just two cases that's all for this find the digits problem see you on next challenge